You know what, Paul? I am so happy. You look it. Jumping with joy. First of all, I would like to thank Bob and Julie Keys, who have graciously allowed us to use their kitchen. We just busted in. And we just busted in. Yeah, I did. But it was, it's been a year since uh, with this COVID thing that we've done a taping, so we're happy to be here. That's why we're having just a taste of wine. Okay. We thought of different ways of doing it, and then all of a sudden, last week we found out that because we just barely are old enough to get the <laughs> the vaccine yeah. early, well, just I barely. Had, I, I, I had, had to kind of lie. I had I, a phony ID. Uh, we have decided that we would reach back into our roots, our heritage. Yes. And, and hence, if you can see the flag of uh, Quebec here, because on my paternal grandfather's side, he was from Quebec. So I'm going to do what is called a tortière. And it's basically a meat pie, and it is frequently used in Quebec at holidays. And George, with his heritage being from South Boston. Uh, no, uh, uh, Azores. The Azores. San Miguel. My grandmother was from Fire. Probably cousins. cousins. Oh. Scary. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do um, two vegetable dishes. One is rice, Portuguese style, so it has tomato in it, some other stuff. And the other are green beans. And the green bean dish, uh, for those of you that do not like vegetables, because it also has linguica in it. The tortilla somewhat involved, lengthy. Okay, the first thing is you have to make the dough. And at 6 a.m. this morning, yeah. I made the dough, but it has to chill for over an hour. So therefore, we decided we couldn't do it on camera. Um, but I'll be happy to tell you how I did it. Food processor, three cups of flour, two sticks of butter that you have frozen, yeah. cut into slices, teaspoon of kosher salt, pulse it for about 30 or 40 seconds, so it has like little BBs of butter in there. And then here's kind of the tricky, weird thing. You mix together seven tablespoons of water. Seven. Seven tablespoons and one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. And I by the way, the water has to be ice cold. Yes. And you start pulsing again and pouring that in. You should be able to pinch the dough mix. And if it doesn't stick together, oh, gonna, don't pinch me. No. <laughs> Go back and add a little bit more water, okay? That's where right. I got in trouble because I forgot to put the cover on the food processor. Oh. And my wife came down and was like, but anyhow, you make a ball like this, you put it in the refrigerator. The next thing is you have to prepare a spice mixture, which I've taken the liberty of doing it ahead. And what it is, and I'm going to refer to my notes again because it's fairly extensive, it is... Two, table, two teaspoons, excuse me, of kosher salt. It's one easy. teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. One teaspoon of dried thyme. One half a teaspoon of dried sage. One half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One half a teaspoon of ground ginger. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done yet. A quarter of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground allspice. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground mustard. <sighs> Just, and, the show's only and, you know, 40 and, minutes long. An eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. And last but not least, I put in a pinch of red pepper. Fine. Okay? Uh, butter. Well, butter is... <laughs> it's almost as good as bacon. I'm going to add the onion. Try to get most of it in the pan. Garlic. Two-thirds of a cup of diced celery. Later on, you're going to add some potatoes. And what you do is take basically uh, two russet potatoes, cut them in halves or quarters, boil them. We've taken the liberty of doing that already. George, I want you to mash these for me. Do not throw this water out, believe it or not. Starchy. Excuse me. You're going to use some of this potato water. Gives me the stuff he doesn't trust anybody else with. I should have had you make the dough. Basically, you just saute this until that starts to wilt. And while that's happening, I'm going to reach for the two main ingredients. Ground beef and ground pork. About a pound each. This is like a pound and a half package. I'm cutting it down. Did you go up to Quebec to get this meat? Yeah. Oh, good. I had to sneak across the border at night, though. Yeah, they don't let us stay there anymore. <laughs> you sure you shouldn't appeal these? 
just a force of habit, and you know, yeah, there's good a lot of the nutritional there. value of potatoes well, then in that's the skin. We're all, about, we're all about nutrition. What'd you got, a COVID-12 uh, yeah, co there? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The spice mixture. You gotta admit, that's a pretty uh, length, lengthy list of, uh, of ingredients and spices in there. But some kind of sweet elements, the allspice, cinnamon. No, I think that'll be exciting. No, the exciting thing is when I want to try to roll out the, the dough. The dough. <laughs> you made that uh, bacon. Yeah, bacon it was a pecan sweet, thing. Yeah, pecan and that pastry work. But to cover my baking abilities, I threw bacon on the top of it. See, <laughs> that that was the kind of. The, we got enough meat in this thing. I couldn't add any more bacon. No. <laughs> okay, now here is a secret little trick. Once you've got the pork and beef brown pretty much evenly. You're gonna add some of this potato water. One cup, carefully eyeballed. Simmer this down to remove that liquid, the potato water. 20, 25 minutes. When that's gone, then we add the potatoes. 20, 25 minutes of us just idle banter? No. No. Watch, watch me futz around with the dough. <laughs> oh, we're going to do the dough. Yeah, that'll take 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> flour all over the floor. Oh, yeah. A little bit massive cleanup. And why do we put the flour down, Paul? So it won't stick, huh? So it won't stick. Beautifully done. I see. <laughs> Not quite in half. A little bit bigger piece that you want for the base. This will be the top. Now the fun begins. Want to drive a car over it or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. I need a little moisture on that. No? Yeah, I think maybe a bit of water. Yeah. yeah. Give me a little bit of water. Like I said, <laughs> we're not bakers. Don't say we. I'm what? not baking anything today. <laughs> Where's Martha Stewart when we need her? <laughs> she was on TV today. Yeah? Was she yeah. doing dough? Uh, no. Would she sell some more stock? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God, I think we might be able to pull this off. What do you think? Well, it's still stuck to this. You're going to have to pull it off, Paul. <laughs> Looks so easy when they do yeah, it on I know, TV, on doesn't TV. it? Look at this. I'm tending this, spot, Paul. I'll yeah, take care of this for you. I just may start to eat it. Oh, fold it and lay it on top, yeah? And look at this. When you get this in here, you got another one to go. <laughs> the top should be easier. Look at that. Huh? We're going to have to do some serious editing on this. There you go. No, no. <laughs> no this is real life. So what we're learning here, if things start to appear to go wrong, keep at it. Keep going. It's going to taste fine in the end. Right. Oh, the taste will be okay. He's not going to get a, an award for the under, you know. <laughs> the lower crust or anything like that. All right. Coming together good. I had my doubts there for a bit. Look at that. I'm going to yeah. bake it for about an hour after we put the filling in. So this is a long show. If you have a book to read for the next hour, <laughs> when we get this going, you can do that. If you have a Peloton machine, that'd be the time. Yeah, that'd right be now. time, yeah. What? Add those mashed potatoes in there. I, I don't want full responsibility here. Just You're going to mix them all in? Yep. Is that right? I didn't know if he layered them or did something fancy. Because as I mentioned earlier, I am not French. I'm only half Portuguese now that I think about <laughs> it. Look at that. And the thing is that the French Canadians frequently serve it at room temperature. So yep. it's good for a, a buffet type thing. Sure, know, sure, sure. Mashed potato did wonders. Look at that. Thickened it right up. Almost as thick as we are. <laughs> It is delicious. We wish you could smell this. You got more. Pack it in. You Make know, it up I'm high. going to. Don't want to miss it. I think we might have hit the quantities right. I think so. If nothing else. Now, I'm going to let George proceed with his business. I want to roll the top off camera. Put some oil in it. I use olive oil, but you don't have to. Extra virgin olive oil on every show. If you don't want to use olive oil in this, you can take bacon, chop it up, 
Render the fat. One of George's healthy hints. Throw the bacon away <laughs> and just use the bacon fat. So we're going to soften the onions. Don't put the garlic in too soon because it will burn. And when it burns, it's bitter. Okay? So May I interrupt for one second? Uh, you're going to anyway. This has got to be shown. Look at that. Huh? A little rough around the edges. Well, it's a uh, rustic pie. Before I put the pie in the oven, I'm yes. going to put a little bit of egg wash on it to brown it up. Oh. One egg, fair amount of water. That's it. You want to do the onions till they just begin to be a little bit opaque so they'll be sweet and just as sweet as Paul is. I love the way this rice comes. See with that? Directions on how to open it. One. Do that. See? That's a Zorian I, rice. Let's see if I can pour this juice off. So we save that liquid. A couple of cups of tomatoes. So I'm going to estimate that. This is taking rice to another level. Um, I just took this flour to another level. Teaspoon or so of chopped garlic. What's that stuff? Two cups of water. Why is it pink? Because I saved the tomato juice. Water. See? I need one more cup of water. Now, one cup doesn't look like it would do much. But if you've never cooked rice before, you will notice what will happen to the rice. It's a big cup. It's a big cup. But it's a cup, Paul. I had this checked by the Bureau of Standards. Oh, yeah, this is official. That's a cup. Okay, all right. One cup. Now, Paul's pie is all ready, correct, Paul? 45 minutes to go. So I got more, more to work to do? Yeah. We might take a break. Set timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. To put a stop to the senseless slaughtering of innocent potatoes, remember this. Rice a roni, the San Francisco treat. Rice a roni, the flavor can't be beat. A special blend of seasonings for flavor that is sure to please and save a potato. Rice a roni, the San Francisco treat. Save a potato, serve rice a roni. Well, the rice, if you take a look at this now. I love that ad. Now, with, with, with this rice, I also added just a pinch of, of, of chopped parsley, just to brighten it up a bit. That's done. Over here, I'm heating up some olive oil again. It's, it's heated. It's heated. We have some roughly chopped onions for this. I used red onion. Doesn't matter. Generally, we don't throw them on the floor like that. <laughs> but Paul has a different technique. See that? See how that goes? Seasonings? Well, I thought we'd, th we'd have a few seasonings. Yes, of course. We need some fennel, ground fennel. Well, I couldn't find any ground fennel, but I have a mortar and pestle. We want about a hefty quarter, quarter well, maybe a little bit more. Um, you, you begin to smell the uh, fennel when you grind it up like this, and it which has a great aroma. Now we put in the liquid gold. Well, actually, it's solid gold. Linguisa. Is that organic? Linguisa? Oh, absolutely. Made from organic pigs. Absolutely. This is all a vegetarian dish, so. You know. Linguisa is a smoked sausage, so it's already cooked. So you, you're either just browning it up a little bit or get, getting it a little bit cooked down. It's okay to eat right out of the package. I don't, because I don't like it that way. Eating a cold hot dog. Eat, oh, I love cold hot dogs. Do you? Oh. Three cups of water. Oh. Well, look, I got almost two pounds of beans. And, uh, okay. It's not watered down. You don't want to water it down. But I'll have some of that myself. And I think our host over there probably would like some of this, too. This is the real stuff. The, the gaffer. Yeah, the gaffer. It's a beautiful mixture. And very simple. Add the water, please. At this point? Yeah. And also some crushed red pepper. Mm. We can do the crushed red pepper because my wife isn't here. A half a teaspoon. Get that up to... 
to speed. Simmering? Simmering. And then we will add the beans. See, this is much easier than rolling out pie dough, don't you think? Anything is easier than rolling out pie dough. That's a lot of beans. That's two pounds of beans. I heard you like beans. Look at that. Now all of these flavors will combine, as they say, in the tray. So this is one of those walk away deals. Cover it, walk away. That's it. How's your pie doing? We have the temperature, I want to boost it up. Mm. We're gonna have to take time out here for a sec. You think? We need our, uh, who's the guy with the electricity? What are they, the gaffers? <laughs> Gaffer. We need a gaffer. Whee! Pillsbury pie crusts now unroll instead of unfold. No cracks, no creases, just perfect pie in no time. Make them this holiday. And let the good times unroll! Pie in minutes, Mrs. Miss Pie. In minutes, in just ten minutes. You got it made. Ten minutes in the microwave or twenty minutes in an oven. And you've got a tender, flaky crust brimming with lots of luscious fruit. Mrs. Miss Pie in minutes. Isn't it nice to have pie this good, this fast? Pie in minutes, Mrs. Miss Pie in minutes. In just 10 minutes, you got it made. Look at well, this. I think we're getting there. Look at that. Looks the, like a pie. The pie we did after about 65 minutes um, at 385. It turned a little golden. Oh. That's because of the egg wash. You've done your rice thing, the bean thing. Let's we like to call them rice with tomatoes, a la Portuguese. <laughs> okay. right. Now, the big experiment. How do you get it out? <laughs> I think I'll leave now. <laughs> that first piece, Bob, Paul, is going to do it. Yeah, careful. Did the doctor say you could have sharp objects yet? <laughs> I would use the spatula. I can get it in there. A wedge shape would be nice, but... Oh! Ooh. Okay, you might like a little rice for that. So, a way to serve rice. Oh, this is my trick. Not your trick. You notice that French-Canadian cooking is nothing green there. There's no vegetables at all. But we Portuguese are healthy people. There's celery in there. We'd have some beans here, a little onion, a couple of pieces of Portuguese sausage. You have a real international dinner here, you know that? It certainly is different. And there you have it. Oh, we gotta have a toast. <laughs> some toast. <laughs> Folks, we're back. A little rough around the edges. That's okay. But We'll smooth it out, and we'll see you again real soon. How do you say uh, bon appetit in Portuguese? Bon appetit in Portuguese. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, mm. Is it good? Oh, my God. The spices. Rice with tomato. Our heritage. <laughs>